But I have been, since June 16th, I've gone up against a lot of people saying we got to go back to new lows. Uh, I was feeling good at about 4,200 on the S&P. Uh, now I'm wondering again whether uh, all these negative fundamentals finally rear their ugly head in terms of earnings revisions and lower multiples so that everybody is proven right. I don't see how 9 out of 9.9 .9 out of 10 people can be right, though. Are we going to new lows below 3,600? I, I, I don't know, Joe, but I, I think the loads are in. That's, that's my guess. I really like the tape action here. I'm not a technician or anything, but you know, generally during Fed weeks, and that's what this is to me, a Fed week, is the market, uh, the VIX goes up, the market struggles. You know, it's, I think it's very encouraging before Powell's speech, the markets come roaring back up here and holding its own. And, you know, I, I, there's some good things going on, I think, Joe. I, I, everyone seems to think that the only thing standing between them and runaway inflation is the Fed and what they may do. I don't think that's the case. I, I really think that uh, lower inflation is already baked in because of policy tightening that's occurred over the last year. We've had severe uh, slowdown in monetary growth, a severe slowdown in fiscal stimulus, a big rise in the U.S. dollar, big rises in bond yields long before the Fed even started tightening. And that stuff has about a one-year lag, and it's going to continue to bring downward force on both economic growth and inflation well into next uh, spring, March. So I don't think the Fed has to do anything. And the inflation rate is going to continue to moderate probably back to its range uh, by next March. Um, you know, so I, I don't, I'm not sure the Fed is going to be nearly as aggressive as they're talking about in terms of raising rates. And there are some good things. The bond market now has been, uh, the 10-year yield has been around 3%, Joe, for the last four months, despite yeah. bad inflation numbers, despite hawkish talk from the Fed. Um, it seems very comfortable at that level. Right. And so it's done tightening. The break-even rate this morning, the one-year break-even rate of the bond market fell to almost 2.5%. It's, it's collapsing. That's well within the range of the Fed's target, which I think is a very good sign uh, overall. You talk about earnings estimates. They collapsed in July, but they have been, they've stopped falling here in August. Economic growth, the economic surprise index has picked up. It was minus 80 in mid-July. It's minus 20 this morning. It's it's better, a little better economic reports. I think we're going to have very slow growth, one and a half percent real GDP or something in the coming year, but we're probably not going to recess. And if we don't and rates have stopped going up, I don't know. I yeah. think earnings are going to hang in there and the I stock market I... probably got a lot of room. I knew I... Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.